dodge this. This moment will be frozen in time. Freeze. Hit the push your luck. I must leave no stone unturned. What's the hurry? Dodge this! Freeze! Ah. Don't get frostbite! Ah. Ah. Don't push your luck! Dodge this! Silly churl, Billy churl, silly Billy hilly churl.
share.
We're here! Tone Deaf Bars! Uh-huh. Uh... What are they doing in Mondstadt? Whoa, look at that! <laughs> You're really here! Come on, take a seat and join our delightful conversation. Wow, Traveler, Paimon! Speak of the devil, we were literally just talking about you. Truly a curious coincidence. Kazuma? Shinyan? What are you doing here in a Mondstadt tavern? And how'd you end up having to share a table with the Tone Deaf Bard? Tone Deaf Bard? <laughs> now that's a fun stage name. It seems like you're a pretty well known singer, fella. Though sadly not a rock and roll singer, or we could perform a duet. So, you all know each other. My newfound friends are my old friends' friends from afar! <laughs> How fantastic! Oh, this is a rare opportunity indeed! Oh, we should form a poetry club and call it, uh, the Free Poet Society, or something like that. Yeah, I felt like getting out and finding some new inspiration for my songwriting. Kazaha felt like going on a trip too, so we figured we'd travel together. Last month, Beto held a big booze-filled party called the Drink Till You Sink Championship, and she put me in charge of the music. And that's where I met Kazuha. Although Shinyan can come across as unruly at times, her musical understanding is highly nuanced and original. Safe to say, our shared appreciation for music struck a chord in us both. Oh, you can say that again. In Kazuha's hands, even a leaf becomes an instrument. That makes him an expert among my friends. Starting from Liyue, we passed through Stone Gate and kept going until we came into Mondstadt. Then along the way, we saw this really awesome manor. It was something else. Oh, yeah! We know the one! Our friend owns that place! Really? Y'all sure have a lot of friends. Well, whoever it is that lives in that fine place must be really loving life, huh? Uh, guess so. <laughs> Similar souls tend to attract each other. Traveler and Paimon, you must have exceptional taste, just like that friend of yours. Wow, you're too nice! Unlike some people who only ever seem to poke fun at Paimon. Ahem. <clears throat> By the way, do you know anything about the Iridescence Tour? It's supposed to be huge. Rumor has it that all seven nations of Tevat are gonna be involved. Well, so far it's mostly just empty promises. Anyway, it's supposed to be a music festival. The organizer really did a number on me last time. They canceled on me. But I hear that they're still active. I'd love to give the festival another shot. But wouldn't you know it, the plans fell through again. How can they mess up this bad twice in a row? Music is all about inspiration. Maybe the organizers canceled the show because theirs dried up. But fear not, weary travelers, for your journey was not in vain. It has, after all, brought you here, to me, to the Temple of Music. Your Temple of Music must have more than just good tunes. You're a bard, ain't you? A song's gotta have a good story or it doesn't make the cut, right? <laughs> exactly. Oh, you understand the meaning of being a bard so well. To express my gratitude, I will even share one of these stories with you. <laughs> oh, you're a funny fella. Are all bards like you? I've met many bards during my travels, but none of them are as entertaining as you. <laughs> I'm sure it all comes down to the richness of my imagination and, by extension, the poverty of theirs. And on that note, here is a fantastical tale that is sure to delight you all. <laughs> 